Welcome to part 6 of our Solid Edge Wiring and Harness Design blog series. In this video we'll introduce you to the electrical symbols. The Solid Edge Wiring and Harness Design electrical symbol is a 2D drafting application for drawing symbols and borders that will be placed on drawings. These symbols can be one of three types. They can be electrical, which provides a graphical depiction of a device, backshell, ground, or splice, and will have electrical pins. They can be comment. These are 2D illustrations and are most commonly used with the harness application to depict mechanical parts or connectors. Or they can be borders. These are the frames which surround the contents on a diagram and include a title block. Every symbol and border graphic created using Solid Edge Wiring and Harness Design Symbol is stored in a library. Libraries enable symbols and borders of a specific electrical function to be grouped in a convenient location ready for use on design diagrams. Symbol libraries are displayed in a tree structure in other applications. To aid symbol construction on all symbol diagrams, an insertion point marker and a grid facility are automatically displayed in the diagram window. The grid is also an essential facility for determining the scale of your symbol diagrams and should be configured as required prior to creating a new symbol. Let's have a look at the symbol application. The symbol application can be launched from your start menu or from within the Solid Edge Wiring and Harness Design application. Once inside the symbol application, I'll start by opening an existing symbol library. These libraries are included with the package. Notice that when the library opens, it shows in the project window as a set of folders. Each folder has a different family or type of symbols. You can double click on the symbol to open it. This hourglass shaped mark is the insertion point marker. This is an example of an electrical symbol. Notice the pins. Next, I'll open another library. This one is a drafting library and I'll show you an example of a comment symbol. Once again, I'll go to the project window, expand the folder, and open the symbol by double clicking on it. This is just one example of a connector symbol. Next, I'll open a border symbol library to give you an example of a typical border. This is the border library delivered with the package, but keep in mind you can easily create your own custom borders. I'll open a D-sized border here just to give you a look at what the border symbol looks like. I'll close these three symbols now and we'll turn back to the base application. Now I'll show you how easy it is to create a symbol from scratch. I select the new command. I'll type in a symbol name and pick a symbol type. In this example, we'll use the symbol type of device. Notice that a grid appears with an insertion marker in the center. You can see I can reposition the marker to either side, top, or bottom, and I also have the option to change the grid size. I can now use the drawing commands to start to create my symbol. These drawing tools are not as powerful and robust as the solid edge drawing tools that you may be used to. However, they are adequate for drawing your basic symbols. You also have the option of importing geometry from any CAD package through DXF, and I'll demonstrate that shortly. The system also provides the option for easy editing and manipulating of any of the geometry that you create. In this example, 
I'll suppress the grid point snapping and easily reposition the geometry. The system also allows you to copy and paste geometry in a similar manner to that in Solid Edge, and you also have the option to flip geometry as shown here. Next, I'll use the properties of this circle to go in and change the fill pattern to provide a solid circle. With the basic 2D geometry complete, I can now go in and add some pins. I do that with the add pins command. Here I'm selecting the command individually. If I hold down the shift key, I only have to select the command once and I can place all three pins. The system has placed default names for the pins, but I can easily double click on them and change the pin name as shown here. I can also easily reposition the names of the pins to wherever is necessary. The last thing I'll do is add a name text marker to the bottom left corner of the symbol. When the symbol is associated with an internal part, the internal part name will appear here. If I already have geometry existing, I can import that through DXF. I use the import DXF command and browse for my DXF file. I select the file and I open it. In this example, I want this to be a comment symbol type and I say OK. The DXF imported and put onto its own separate diagram. I can rename this if necessary and give it an appropriate name. I always have the option of adding labels. For example, I may want to label each one of these circles. I'll accelerate this video so you don't have to watch me do each label. I can now save this into my symbol library. So as with the parts library, the symbol library provides a powerful interface to help you create, manage, and edit symbols. If you want to learn more about solid edge wiring and harness design, contact your account manager or visit us at www.designfusion.com. You can also call our head office toll free at 1 888 567 3933.